All right, doing my one year on Steam at Post. Um, just kind of talking about how a computer knob, somebody who has no idea what's going on with technology, um, ended up on Steam it and uh, ended up there for a whole year and love it. I uh, have to say that uh, I, I spend most of my time on Steam it. Um, I definitely don't go on Twitter or Facebook nearly as much. I do go on Twitter still a bit, but um, Facebook is a, a, a hangover thing and uh, Steam it is my everyday thing. Um, I got on it through Lee Camp. Thank you, Lee Camp. And um, have been on it ever since for my independent news and uh, actually having conversations with people that aren't just doing um, everyday everyday uh, gossip and information. Um, really, really great blogging sphere. I found a really great community of vegans, of cooks, of people who are sharing recipes, um, people who are traveling, getting travel tips, um, crypto tips. Found out a lot about crypto and have actually... Uh, really uh, dived into that even though I still I took me a week to figure out my iPhone it took me about 10 10 days to figure out how to post on Steam until I finally broke down and did the uh, did the video did the tutorial videos and the tutorial videos actually wrapped it up for me about two hours um, I'm su super excited about Steam in the next year um, now that I've been on it for a year um, we're looking at advertising possibly in Steam it the Steam community is um, trying to increase its numbers with a, a lot of different really great apps but the but the advertising possibility is fantastic and I think steam it with the next Facebook purge with this election coming up could really get a lot of uh, English speaking uh, Americans on there and Canadians with their next election <clears throat> with this disinformation that uh, is happening through steam it uh, well not through steam it through Facebook through Twitter um, reddit getting deleted just a lot like I mean uh, Patreon is deleting stuff now. It's, it's just really coming to censorship. So things like Steemit and possibly Minds, I'm on both. Um, I spend most of my time on Steemit though because Minds can get a little uh, one-sided views. Um, so I, I'm really hoping that the, 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 the colliding of the Facebook purge, the next purge, um, the Twitter purge is currently happening, the next Facebook purge um, revives with uh, the advertising. And if Steemit prices are up, people are really gonna be motivated to get on there. I'm currently going to be doing a sponsorship for at least five friends to get on Steam. It's three Steam to get on uh, instantly, and I know that's a lot of people's problems. And I will love to help people uh, actually figure out how to get on there um, and poke around a bit. So any any instant messages to me will be answered. Coming uh, Steam it problems, and um, the whole the whole crypto resurrection. I mean, just today it jumped up 25 percent, and um, my dog just chased some mice. Uh, so. With uh, the whole 20-25% of uh, crypto jumping today, I think that's only going to show uh, a lot of great things coming. And uh, the Steam dollar has uh, stabilized around a dollar for a while now. So uh, Steam at one year post. I'm looking, for this, look, looking forward to this next year with me probably moving three times, um, maybe four months more here, four months in Michigan, then going to do some time in Tampa Bay possibly. So uh, traveling... Uh, internet losing and this new phone so a lot of things to test out and um, I'm looking forward to another year of a steam at exploration love you guys